Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to review episode 19 of Ajin. Now, anime onlys, I really, really don't mean, nor do I like to be that guy. But read the fucking manga. Oh, God. Uh, one of my favorite chapters was adapted in this episode. Adapted in this episode. There's no way how an anime only can understand the relationship between Tosaki and Izumi from what they 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 saw with that backstory. Just if you don't have time to read the manga, then at least read chapter 27 specifically. Chapter 27 specifically is just the backstory and the relationship between Tosaki and Izumi. They did adapt some, like, some parts from the chapter, but overall there's just so much more. Like, for example, how the episode starts is Izumi waking up in the bathroom. We see a pair of bloody scissors and stuff. How did that happen? How did she get like that? Read the fucking manga. So Tosaki is being interrogated, and I suppose it's a way to make you feel like, oh man, Tosaki, I feel really bad. But I've hated Tosaki for the longest of times, so... T -t -t Took long enough, man, you had that coming, <laughs> come on. Like, 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 especially when uh, the one American dude, when, when he punched uh, Tosaki, I was just like, yeah, get another one. But then they started giving him drugs. I thought the drugs was a bit much, but... Uh, I will admit, though, the voice actor, it did pain me whenever he made those choking noises. That, that did pain me a little, I'm not gonna lie. But everything else, Tosaki had it coming, and uh, I wish he got punched in the face more, but it's whatever. So Izumi rushes over to the others, saying that Tosaki has been kidnapped, and they gotta go rescue him. And Kei was just still like, no, no we, we gotta move to a different hiding spot and stuff. We gotta move out, we gotta move out. And Izumi, she uh, makes Kei change his mind, and he's just still like, okay, fine. We'll rescue him, but only because they'll see how good we are from our training. So, I don't know, the training definitely paid off. That was good to see. But Tosaki is still out there. He's on the road, and they're making their way over to the embassy. And, what, and once they reach the embassy, then it's game over. There's no way they can rescue him from there. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. So, I don't really have too much stuff to say to the manga reader, so what can I do right now, now that it's only been about three minutes? Ooh. <laughs> uh, well, as we see with Izumi's backstory, Izumi is not her real name. It's her new name because her old self died and because she was suspected as an Ajin, Tosaki decided to pick her up and make her his personal bodyguard. And yeah, it's been like that for a while, and that's really all else I can think of. I'm very sorry, there's nothing much else to talk about. But if they did adapt the chapter properly, then there would be more stuff to talk about, because there's more detail in that. Really, I feel like a big chunk of the episode was just trying to save Tosaki, and that's before the fight. Oh boy, you manga readers weren't kidding when you said that the rest was gonna be pretty much anime original. Well, I guess now we'll end it here. Sorry for the sucky review, <laughs> I'll be honest, not the best, but that's what we got. Mufimo Taku, sayonara.